Hello everybody, my name is Kitam, welcome back for another video of Humankind, we're gonna continue this series boys. In the last video we went ahead and finished off a couple of uh, technologies here and there. Uh, we also had our first religion, I believe it was in the, first video, uh, in the last video, so we encountered our first religion and stuff like that. Also we are still working on the stone rings right here for another 12 turns. And uh, for pretty much uh, all of that, we got another nine turns before we get uh, another populace. Uh, so we got three of them working, uh, population working on the money right now. Big time because I am big time in debt. Uh, that's the reparations uh, of war that I got to pay bas basically for my loss against uh, these guys right here. So unfortunately, that is a thing that I got to do. I'm also keeping my influence, trying to build it up as much as possible. Just so eventually I can uh, get myself a city right here. Alright, so I want to get my second city. And uh, the only way to do that for me is uh, creating the outpost first. So we're going to have to do that. I don't have much to do right now. So all I can do really is to wait it out. Uh, we do need 12 population. We only have, uh, well, we have 11 right here. So we need one more for another extra star. And uh, for another star, we uh, need just a couple more influence points. So... We're almost there. We're gonna get in no time these two uh, bonus influence stars uh, or bonus stars. I'm not sure how exactly uh, what's gonna give it to me exactly once we we got him, but um, it's gonna be very interesting. Let's put my soldiers right here. All right, so we still got another 11 turns for the uh, stone rings to be done. Once that's complete, it's gonna give me a bunch of stability. Uh, extra faith and uh, stability in these uh, separate districts and stuff like that. I think that's the only army I've got so far. Yeah, probably. So let's take a look at uh, what's going on over here, I guess, for that uh, thing. So the pecking of poultry. The art of divini uh, divination spreads across the empire. Priests search for a message from the gods and animal entrails. The flights of birds, the wheeling of the stars, and holy uh, decoctions in elsewhere. Now, however, the practices have become so commonplace, so bizarre, that the whole empire is sliding towards chaotic superstition. Even the eating uh, patterns of chickens are being interpreted by military commanders. What to do? Alright, so embrace, forbid, or reason. We must use logic and experimentation to discern the true methods of divination. Uh, divination outside the official sanction uh, means are pure superstition and must be forbidden. Uh, that will give us fanatic, uh, fanatical stuff. Uh, plus 25 faith. This would give us plus 10 stability for embracing. Or this would give me plus 5 of science. I'm pretty sure that's in the city or is that just overall? I'm gonna get the extra science, boys. I need the science, so let's do reason. We're gonna do reason right here. We're gonna try to understand as much as possible what's going on here. Basically, what you can do with this uh, uh, this one right here, the stone rings. If you have another city, you can build on it with the other city as well. You can work on it, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I got no other cities anyways. We are gonna go here. I can't b quickly build it either. So it's really just a shared project, basically, that you gotta wait for. The uh, last one. Now, how did it go up by, uh, within one turn to all of this? That makes no sense. Something must have went up or something, boys. I'm not sure, but this is kind of... Uh, it's very weird. It's pretty weird, boys. I'm still gonna keep the tree population here because I really need to get as much money as quick as possible. I have another point right here. I, I, I got a, another discovery right here that I could get, but uh, not yet. I guess I just... I'm way too far away for that, for me to be able to do anything with that. So uh, we're gonna wait it out. I really want to send my soldiers there f uh, over here first. So let's let's send them over here, boys. We got no technology or no, uh, no discoveries on the loose it's just a horse resource right here that we do need eventually if we want to get some chariots or something like that so for the rest i think we're good we really don't have a whole lot to do uh we've we can interact with these two empires which i pretty much don't really want to do this uh, today boys i kind of want to chill for a little bit so we still need a 368 points in order to connect this outpost over there to this uh to the city so we just gotta keep uh wasting turn boys keep going for the next turns and stuff like that so uh we're gonna go here 
We're gonna go here straight up, boys. Uh, please. Okay, we're gonna have to wait or something, or do I have to actually? Okay, I got. I gotta go here first. Let me create the outpost right here, boys. So we're gonna create ourselves an outpost right there. It cost us a hundred and forty of influence. Uh, or 80 of influence. Cultural conversion started. So we're going to try and convert this city, of course. Uh, now we're doing good. So this is our new outpost. Eventually, I want to create it. Once it's created, uh, within seven turns, uh, I want to start, uh, really, I want to keep my uh, as much influence as, points as possible. I want I want it to become a city and stuff like that. So obviously, that's uh, the main goal right here, boys, is to do that. Uh, we also have... We still have only one population, right? But in seven thirds, we're going to have an extra one. So that should accomplish that star over here. We're not getting any science or anything from, uh, or any money from that though, from this place. Number of followers. So we only have one follower, I guess. We don't have a lot of stuff to do right here. We, uh, basically this is just an outpost by itself that I can heal my units in. I can't do anything other than that really with it. So let's keep it going. We're going to turn into turn 104, I believe. Yeah, there it goes. We've got uh, three turns remaining for the next technology. Which there might be civics that I need to do, boys. Let's uh, see really quick because I've got 92 of influence from that, uh, I guess. 22, uh, 24 influence per turn. Let's see, show civics. Let's go into the tree. Every time I go into a new tree, it just bugs out my entire thing. I think I'm okay. I don't... Yeah, I don't have anything to do right here. I figure everything's fine, so I'm not sure. Maybe the two turns they showed me. Maybe it's for the next Civic to appear. It's probably just that. All right, let's go ahead and go right here. Curiosity, so we gained uh, 20 gold from that. We're going to go right here as well. We're going to get another one. There we go. There's a narrow star, boys. We gained some um, science and probably some stuff from that. So uh, one of the aggregation star has been earned. Nice, so we got it, boys. We got another star. Let's uh, take a look at it. Take a look at the event. All right, so we got uh, all of that. So we got two stars now. Armonious Fault and Plint Lore. So that's really good. How much do I need to just go into the next era or something? How does it work for the era? Is it going uh, automatically? Probably it does. I guess the way it works is you get fame points via the stars that you gained. And the more fame points you get... Uh, I guess the more uh, the better you are to win the better chances you are to win right you want to be first right now I'm at fourth place right behind the third place at 410 and I'm 400 I don't know how you get that extra 10 points but uh, we we're there I guess we're doing all right but we're kind of falling off because we were we used to be at first place all the way at first place and uh, we were dropping big time we need to start I don't know Producing a little bit more. We got another uh, thing right here that's coming in. That's going to give me 150 points just like that. So we got all of that. That's all for the ancient era basically. And we gained an extra uh, unit from that. Which is fantastic boys. So with that extra unit. What I am going to end up doing is going towards there and uncover that discovery that uh, was waiting for us right just right there so we're gonna do that i could probably try and ransack i don't want to ransack my own place though so we're not gonna do that i've got uh pinkuya is uh gonna be done in six turns the outpost that is we got 92 points it's uh, we already know it's gonna take a while for the other points uh to uh, to get by it's gonna take a lot of points to attach these two together so uh, we're going to have to wait. Whatever costs me the less, I'm going to do. So let's see real quick. Yeah, so we're in the next turn. Religious conversion, uh, conversion started. Now uh, we are starting to convert this outpost as well. New grievance available. You may ask for reparation. From who? I guess I'm, I, I have reparations demands that I can do. I'm not sure, boys. Let me just send this unit first uh, over here. Let's send him over here, boys, he start, so he can start exploring a little bit more. We've got uh, my unit right here. Now, what do we do with him? I'm going to be the most uh, peaceful civilization that I can be in this uh, in this game. All right, so I'm not going to try. After that big loss, a uh, military, uh, a big loss against my former in my former war, I do not want to mess with anybody else anymore. 
So Animal Magic, we got another event. As the harvest season draws close, the common folk are worried with many farms shattered across the empire last year in infestation of rodents, largely rats and mice, plundered granaries. However, rumors have it that one enterprising village mitigated the problem by using cats. But you also know that the sailors use a new kind of predator named a ferret. Which of them will you employ officially? Do we go for a science, extra science stability, or do we all go for even more science, I guess? I think I'll just keep it to the ferrets, boys. I think the ferrets are going to be one. I'm, uh, what I'm going to be using, because it seems to be giving me... Uh, going, uh, throwing me all the way up at the science, uh, towards the science bro thing. So we're going to do that. How much uh, points? Almost. I think in the next turn, we should probably have just about enough to get another star, boys. So uh, that's going to be fantastic. We got another seven turns working on the stone rings, which is taking really a long time. It really is, boys. It's a long ass work in place. Uh, I, I'm just wor hoping that it's really going to give me nice amount of bonuses because otherwise I feel like I would have wasted a lot of turns just trying to get that thing, you know, uh, going. So uh, hopefully it's going to be worth it for me. Hopefully. We got 116 uh, points. I want to see actually if we go in there. It would give me about 320 influence that I would need in order for me to actually get a next city, another city. So uh, we are going to wait. We're going to save all of our influence until I get all these um, enough for, to get a city. So we get another uh, another star, boys. Another era star. Third one right here. So that is fantastic. We now have 550 points right behind the first place, which is these guys right here. Uh, the guys that we are at war the first time around. So these are the main uh, our main rivals, basically. Uh, with this uh, guy right here, with this unit, we're going to go here. I'm pretty sure there's still discovery waiting for us, unless it's gone. Uh, we still have our four units right here, which I want to send them uh, all the way there so they can uh, they can start exploring and stuff. So uh, that's done. They're pretty much done walking. They got to traverse the waters. Another four turns for this to become an outpost to be completed. Uh, great. That's really good for us. We're going to be, it's going to take a long time. We're, we're even gaining less money somehow. Uh, our m money situation is not uh, good, boys. We're still doing uh, pretty badly right here. What I do want to do is see really quick because it said with one of civilization that I had uh, a crisis going on. So war uh, reparations. They claim a territory on our border. What is that all about? So the men, uh, they uh, have claimed Marek at your border. The men that they give me Marek. Yeah, they could, they should probably give me Marek right here. It's my border right here. I'm going to demand it. Uh, the oh, they refused, huh? They refused. I can't declare war to them. I, I just lost the war against them. This. Damn it, man. They can literally just refuse whatever. I, I'm going to withdraw my demands. I just... I, I, I'm, I know I'm a pussy I boys, I but can I can't do anything oh, against these guys. They're too powerful. She's too powerful. All right. If she wants to get an outpost right here, it's whatever. I guess I don't have much of a choice here. Really don't. It's not like I can really do anything. What about these guys? Can I interact with them? All right. So let's see if we can do anything with them. We are allied with them after all. Uh, we could probably try and get the shared logistics, all that good stuff. Trading wise, we don't have a lot of stuff. They do have horses, but you cannot afford to buy a trade license for this resource deposit. I'm pretty sure I just don't know how to trade yet. I'm pretty sure that's just not a thing. I'm not allowed to trade with them for some reason. Uh, cultural agreement. Let's do cultural agreement, my guy. Propose. Now they're going to refuse. Uh, new grievance. I'm going to try and put that on them. So demand that they uh, accept that proposal. They refused the treaty. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going to... Man, I swear these guys are assholes. They're all of them. Nobody wants to be friendly with me in this game. I hate it so much. Like, it's, it feels like, uh, feels like everybody hates me or something. So we got finally irrigation done. Uh, with a basic understanding of how seasonal... Uh, flu uh, flooding of a river can be better controlled. Water is no longer matter only for the gods. 
So there it is. We got flood irrigation and we've got public fountains that we can build in the cities, boys. We consider what we have for influence in um, money per turn. We need to focus maybe a little bit more on the science part. I'm not sure. That would give us an extra population, uh, masonry, and it would give us stoneworks. Uh, we also have bronze working, writing, uh, wheel, and sailing. Sailing would be very good, I think. Fishmonger, yeah, just for the fishes and stuff, right? So we can build, uh, we're gonna have resources. We are uh, near shores and stuff, so I do want to get sailing done first. So let's, uh, let's see really quick, is there anything? No, the, uh, the thing that was waiting for us right here, the discovery, is already gone, so that's not good. I guess we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep moving over here towards that place. We're gonna uncover, uh, these regions right here. Okay, just go over there. There's a new place, the new population right here, the lair, the dark of fitted dwellings of dangerous aggressive wildlife care. Okay, so it's just uh, wildlife right here. So we can definitely take that out. Uh, I want to go, actually, okay, so I gotta go all the way there. I gotta go through, through here in order to traverse this, which is fine. I guess what we want to do next as well. So we basically gotta wait now for the uh, aging. To be completed, I swear. I, I it's gonna it taking it's taking so long, it really is. If I take a look at my city right here, I can now build these two things. Nice, which I'm definitely gonna do. Well, I'm gonna start working on those. Twelve turns for each, though. God damn. Uh, the other ones take about nine turns. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot, boys. Still, uh, we're getting slowly but surely we're getting out of our recession, out of our uh, depth. So let's just go here, I guess, with my unit. We're going to try and move around as much as possible. Get as uh, much discoveries done as uh, as humanity can. We get another science star coming up. So all we need to do is obtain an extra technology, another technology. And uh, uh, once that is done, boys, we're going to be able to get another star going, which we desperately need. So let's just, I guess, go over here. It's going to take a while for us to get there. We got to traverse a bunch of uh, different waters and stuff. Can we actually, we can do that. That's going to take, that would take us four turns. I don't have time for the four turn deal right here. So forget about that. We uh, do have uh, another event right here. We got plenty of events going on. So Blades of the Empire. Oh, we got a new civic. It's a new civic. Okay. As your horizons widen. Your armies grow in lockstep with your ambitions. Now, with military power spread over several regiments, it is time to decide the nature of the soldiers who compose your army. And we can actually use our civics to choose... Uh, well, we can use our points to uh, influence to choose a new civic, boys. So, army composition. That would give us... That's going to uh, take us 130 of influence, though. It's costing a lot. Damn. I will never get another CD with, uh, because of that. Uh, that okay, so what do we want? Conscripts, uh, warriors will save us the cost of raising soldiers from the crib. Or professional soldiers forged from the youngest age. Professional warriors will give us a stronger army. Uh, plus one combat strength on units. Or plus uh, minus 30% on unit uh, industry cost. Which I don't really care too much about. I think the best option is the the best available soldier, so Liberty. Alright, so Liberty, Authority. Yeah, I'm gonna do professional professional soldiers here. It Let's does do that. Seem logical, it's but people shouldn't have to do a job unless they want to. Okay, so uh, that's basically what I'm going for, boys. I'm going for uh, the uh, professional soldiers right here. Uh, big time. Just because I, I really need to... To get them to get more strengths, I need them to be stronger. If I need them, if I go into battle against other nations and stuff, especially probably these guys. Eventually, I'm gonna have to reattack them once I've got enough armies, which is costing me a lot of money, by the way. Uh, all these armies, divisions, and stuff. So we really need to work on them big time. All right, so we got another uh, thing that we need to work on. The uh, money thing. We need 1100 uh, gold overall to uh, that we've gained. And so far we are getting there. I mean, uh, 90, with 19 gold per turn, it's going to still take a while. But we're still working on that. We're still, it's still a uh, work in progress, boys. So let's go over here with this uh, unit right here. 
We're gonna cover more territories as much as we can, really. And uh, we got another turn remaining until Pinkoya becomes a natural outpost. It's built up. Uh, now we can go here. So where's the lair exactly again? No doubt this independent people possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. I do hope you're going to treat them well. Well, I am probably not going to treat them well. So will this independent people be an ally or an enemy? A barrier or a blessing? Their future may not be in their hands. I'm gonna I'm gonna ransack these guys. They're independent, but I'm gonna ransack them, boys. So let's go ahead and ransack them. It's gonna take about a turn. Yeah, it's only gonna take a turn to ransack them, and it's gonna give me more gold right away. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna ransack uh, the, that lair right here. I'm pretty sure he was not talking about uh, that place because that place I'm pretty sure it's for the animals. So I should be all right um, over here. Is there any other people? They're getting points? Not really, so we're still alright. I guess I, as long as I finish first, I should be good. So we got nothing else going on. I guess we just gotta keep it moving. We got 31 turns still remaining for the selling. Really need to work on the technology at some point. Uh, the progress, the science that we gain per turn. Uh, that's something that we're gonna have to uh, really work on once we get an extra populace, boys. But right now, as of right now, I really need to... Uh, to just focus a big time on my influence. So, Red Sack successful. We got an extra amount of money from that. Which is really good. Uh, with this unit right here. What we're going to end up doing. Is just keep moving. And exploring more and more, boys. So, brand new territories right here as you can see. Uh, I guess we're going we're gonna to go right here. Yeah, we're going to go right here and keep exploring. And uh, same thing for that uh, unit right here. So, we Red Sack this. I don't know who these people are coming from, uh, but uh, or it's it's just an animal, or we're gonna attack it, boys. Independent people possess sophisticated. Yeah, it says it's independent rights. people, but it's actually an animal, boys. So it's no danger to me. It's not a danger at all. So um, we're gonna do manual battle, boys. Obviously, because I want to be able to uh, get my uh, people to to get in the right place. So confrontation for the thing. Okay, so the the deployments. Let's uh, go ahead and deploy my units properly. All right, so I, I've got my archer right here. He's going to be there so he can attack from that. And uh, I think that's a good enough. Yeah, that's a good enough deployment. Let's end the deployment right here. And let's start attacking. So we're going to attack from far away. Boom. There we go with the archers. And we already got him. We already got him. There's another unit. Reinforcements probably coming in. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start deploying. So these guys, we're going to block that route right here. And block uh, block this one right here. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This one's going to come in. Uh, it's, it's blocked. The route is blocked for him. And he died instantly just from that, which is good. So that's uh, an extra 10 gold just for me. Uh, good military units, boys. This is why I wanted uh, archers because it's much more easier uh, for me. Archers are really going to help me out. Once I decide to go back at war with them. I'm probably going to try my luck with an independent uh, city, to be honest. Uh, first, that's probably gonna what I'm going to try to do. Since that is done, I guess, uh, we still are working on all of our stuff. It's still going to be another two turns for the uh, Aogeng to be completed. We do have that outpost completed, though. That is done. We do have a horse ranch that we can do to get the final, finally get the horse resource. Which would be a very good idea. The horse resource uh, would give us extra everything. Extra science and uh, stability and stuff like that. So let's work on that. Let's work on the on that, the horse resource. So it's done. It's completed. And now it gives us two science, boys. Four of industry, 12 of food. That's a really good outpost right there. Really good outpost. Exactly what we needed. I needed to use that influence, uh, those influence, boys. All right. So... I think that's pretty much it for that. I think uh, what I end up doing is probably build an arbor with my influence points over here. So if I surely I can get more money from that and stuff like that. It's going to give me extra money and all. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing probably. I do have two of population right here, boys. I wish we could bring these populations into the city itself so they could help out with the city. But I guess it's not really a thing. So uh, I guess... Um, I really got to work on whatever. Uh, districts. 
I can't really tell us what I don't like about outposts is I can't tell the population that I actually got uh, going. I can't tell them what to do, what to build on, or if they uh, if I want them to focus on money or science. You know, I, I can't let them know that. So it's unfortunate. Now we are gaining a bit more uh, science per turn, which allows us now to actually uh, uh, research stuff faster. Really good, boys. So. Uh, we're going to leave it for today. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.